Hey everyone, thanks a lot for checking out this course. Let's take a quick overview about what you can expect from this course and how it is structured. So this course is divided into eight major sections that explore different stages of creating this isometric scene. Okay, let's start with section zero, project planning. In this section, we will learn how to find inspiration, how to find reference images and plan out all the storytelling elements. So essentially, we will decide most of what we are going to create in this course, in this section. So moving on to the next section, section one. In this section, we will start to model each and every one of the elements using various modeling techniques and best practices. We will learn how to use reference images and how to stylize different objects, how to make any kind of low poly objects basically. We will do it in this section. And section 2, materials. In this section, we will explore how to create and apply various materials by carefully selecting the perfect colors. So basically, we will learn how to create best materials and apply it to our object. So moving on to the next section, section 3, lighting. This is a very important section. In this section, we will explore different kinds of lights and its properties and execute different lighting techniques that breathe life into your scene. Indeed, a very important section this is. So moving on to the next section, section 4, camera. Here we will explore how to frame our scene in the best possible way, explore different kinds of cameras inside Blender, different focal length and when to use what type of focal length and finally depth of field for emphasizing the story. And the next one is section 5, rendering. Here we will explore the best render settings to render out our scene. So moving on to the next one, section 6, compositing. In this section, we will do some final adjustments to our scene, learn how to evaluate and fix the composition of the scene. And we will explore the different compositing techniques using Blender's inbuilt compositor to push our scene from good to great. So we will take our time and do this the right way. So coming to the section 7, camera animation. In this section, we will do a really nice turntable camera animation to finish off this course. So who is qualified to enroll in this course? So even though this course is designed with beginners in mind, it is not suitable for those who are total strangers to Blender. I assume you have some basic understanding of how the software works and it will allow you to follow along uh, pretty easily. However, if you are a beginner eager to join this course, I recommend you to watch any of the free videos available on the YouTube. So there is a mountain of premium quality videos that provides you the introduction to Blender. I'll be basically adding a cherry on top of that if I were to add an introductory chapter into my course. Also it will be like adding the content for the sake of it so I don't want to do that. So with that out of the way, I have one more thing to tell you before closing this uh, overview video. So just in case if you are watching this course during its first week of the release, then please know I'm planning to add more extra content other than what we have just covered in the course overview. So please remember it will be released as a part of this course as an update free of charge. So come back a week later to check out the updates. So that's all for the overview guys. I believe you got the idea of what you can expect from this course. I hope you enjoy it and learn something new. Take care. I'll see you in the course.